Hey everyone, it's Cool Kid here, and I know I'm a little bit late with this, but still, it's time to do another One Piece chapter review, chapter 1038, and um, this is a pretty good chapter, and also, I should also mention this is one of those chapters where, you know, a lot of stuff is happening in this chapter, but to be fair, this is One Piece, a lot of things always happen in almost every single one Piece chapter. So, uh, actually, I, I should mention this before I get on with the chapter review. So, my latest theory slash discussion video I put out, I gotta be honest, that video was actually supposed to come out earlier, but, uh, I kind of forgot to upload it. Stupid old me, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I just want to be real with you and say that I can't believe I've done that. But, uh, yeah, I think it's time to, you know, finally go on with the chapter review itself, which, as always, we start with the cover page, which, uh, this time we're continuing with the Jerma Double Six cover page series, which, uh, the official's calling it, let's see, Jerma's Double Sixes, ah, an emotionless excursion. You know, I actually, actually kind of like the name to that. That, that, that. that doesn't sound nice, but yeah. Uh, this time is Niji and Yonji are held captive in Chocolate Town on Coco Island. And uh, we see a scene of them there, you know, captured within a book through Montdor's power. And we got, uh, we see, you know, some of the, you know, Big Mom's pirates with uh, heat and uh, pudding and, um, Actually, I, I shouldn't mention this because I'm not, not sure about this, but I it, this power, you know, through you know, capturing through the book is through Montdor. If I remember this correctly, I believe Montdor was with the Big Mom Pirates on the ship going to, uh, you know, Wano, which uh, actually, I, I guess I should make it just a little tangent off skirt. What the hell is like everyone else who came to Wano with Big Mom just doing, are they still just, you know, waiting beside the freaking waterfall? And I mean, huh, to be fair, I pro if I was them, I probably wouldn't go, because it's like, okay, we go up the first time, we get kicked down by King. We go up the second time, we get kicked down by a Marco. Well, what's next? If we go up again, we'll get kicked down by Pell or something? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, seriously, I, I hope the Big Mom Pirates, you know, at least come up to, like, Wano again. Like, even if it's, you know, after Big Mom and Kaido is, like, defeated, I just... I, I just hope, you know, they, they at least attempt again. I'm not, I'm not sure what's up with them. But, uh, yeah, getting back to it, Montour is currently, you know, if I'm remembering this correctly, he's currently on the, sh on the ship, uh, you know, near Wano. So, you know, Montour isn't exactly, um, you know, in Whole Cake Island right now, or specifically in uh, uh, Chocolate Town, which uh, actually, I, I wonder if that might be a problem, because, well, wasn't that because, uh, you know, Luffy couldn't exactly, you know, escape the book himself in, until, uh, I think, Jinbei came and helped to free him. So, you know, obviously, um, like, even Niji and Yonji can't escape free, which, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I, I forget to mention, Niji and Yonji, they're, you know, they, they, they're captured, which, I don't know, from the last, uh, like, I guess, you know, of the... The cover page series, I thought it was like, oh yeah, they're finally, you know, they have finally all escaped, you know, almost scot-free. But uh, no, Niji and Yonji are uh, freaking both captured, which, uh, surprise, surprise, surprise me. You know, that, that does beg the question where this cover page series is going. Is Judge going back for Niji and Yonji? I mean... Hmm. I honestly looking at this, I, I could see it going either way, you know. You know that? I mean, it's not like you know, Judge has to go and rescues Niji and Yonji. We we still got uh, we do see pudding in this uh, cover page right here, which uh, you know, pudding does look concerned. And like, I can honestly totally see pudding 
trying to, uh, you know, help rescue Sanji's brothers, even though I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure Pudding knows that, you know, uh, Yonji and Niji aren't exactly well, you know, good, or, you know, Sanji even treats his family with, I don't know, any good respect to them, but even still, uh, Pudding probably would still, uh, you know, rescue them, I can totally see that happening in the future, but, uh, yeah, we, we still, I mean, back to, like, the judge thing, that, that, it really depends, because would judge purposely, you know, go back to Whole Cake Island to, uh, you know, rescue them to, oh, God, that, I, I am curious if, like, if Judge actually does do that, or if, uh, you know, Judge is like, you know what, uh, let's just leave while we can. We have Raju and we have, uh, God damn it, it's, uh, it's, what's the, what's the other, other Sanji brother? Because it's, it's Niji, Yonji, oh uh, God, I, I'm terrible with remembering names I'll probably put on screen or something, but yeah, uh, e either way, I don't know, I'm kind of curious moving forward. Also, I did hear people make theories that, you know, this is like, you know, saying like, oh yeah, there's going to be a, you know, return to a uh, Whole Cake Island arc, which, I don't know, I, I think it would be cool, but uh, I don't know, just like, just like how much of the series we have left and you know, for a fact, we're getting freaking like, I, I'm I'm I, I'm dead set on that. Uh, 2020 is our last decade of One Piece, and sure we could have returned to Whole Cake Island. You know, in between all those years, I just I, I don't know about the time. I don't think we have the time. I I could see it, but uh, maybe maybe maybe. But yeah, you know. Honestly, this is uh, this cover page right here is being a, a different, interesting picture. Because honestly, the the first two were just literally like uh, them, you know, licking their wounds, just you know, finally escaping with like kind of no, I, I guess, uh, a clue or idea where exactly this cover page series is heading towards. But uh, I, I think we might might have a clue on how's it going to be going moving forward, so, uh, yeah, you know, pretty cool cover page, yeah, 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 so, uh, yeah, let's move on to the chapter review itself. So, the chapter starts with continuing with the fight between Raizo versus Fuku Rokuju. God, I love saying his name, but yeah, the fight continues with them, with, uh, Raizo just completely, in, uh, just engulfed with flames, like, his entire body it's just on fire. And meanwhile, we got Fuku Rokuju just like, you know, starting to get on fire with, you know, the both of them in their paralyzed jutsu. And Fuku Rokuju says, the undo the flames, Raizo, or both of us will die. With, you know, just Raizo staying there, keeping focus, and making sure, uh, I guess, to keep the hold on the paralyzation. Oh god. I mean, I don't know. I think last time I said this fight was like, you know, kind of like a, oh yeah, we're going to see an awesome fight. Oh, it's just literally them at a literal standstill. But, uh, you know, honestly, I, I, I kind of have to commend, you know, Raizo with, you know, him literally, like his entire body's on fire. So, you know, I have to commend him. Uh, to keeping that up, but then we go on the second floor with uh, some random rebellion samurai just trying to get out of the castle. They're like, "God damn it! It's another dead end with you know all this flame." And then the roof starts to crumble, but uh, before it crushes them, Jinbei just gets a hold of it, and he's like, "Oh, uh, I'm holding this up," and they're like, "Oh, you're from the Straw Hat crew." Now you're all here. Well, get out while you can. And Jinbei's like, man, how far have these flames have spread out? It's one thing to die in a battle, but uh, these flames are going to to kill. 
scorns of men of all of their own. So yeah, we got that with there. And then we jump to the performance uh, floor with, uh, you know, I guessing it looks like, you know, kids, crew just running away from the battle between, uh, you know, your kid in law versus big mom. And they're like, oh man, we gotta stay away from that fight and everything. And we get to Chopper, who is like, wait a minute, what the heck is going on? And then Chopper grows and, you know, gets out of his baby Grant's form. So, um, yeah, Chopper's back to normal, back to his, I guess, his normal brain point. And uh, we got Miyagi, who's like, oh, thank goodness, your uh, monster's risk has passed. And he's like, well, yeah, I'm finally, I guess I'm turning back uh, from the side effects. That's enough about me. But Miyagi, I I'm really worried about Zoro. Miyagi is like, yes, the medicine I gave him in exchange for a temporary burst of extreme healing. He'll suffer twice the amount of damage later. And Chopper's like, I hope he was able to win his fight. I mean... He was so injured that he couldn't move. And now that's doubled? He's not going to die, okay? And then we go to freaking uh, Zoro. See, see what I mean when I said earlier a lot of stuff happens? But yeah, we go to Zoro, who's like, who the hell are you? And we see this freaking, like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, it's, it's literally like some grim Le reaper fellow with like the cloak and like the scythe and everything. I, I, I can't say it. I mean, you know, honestly, I probably, if I, if I had like, you know, some like a cloth hood or something or like even a, a skull mask I would put it on or, you know what? I do have a hoodie. I can actually just, uh, you know, put it. On. But uh, yeah, we got this Grim Reaper fellow holding up a giant scythe looking down at Zoro. And Zoro's like, uh, what's going on? My body won't move. Wait, no, stop it! And uh, yeah, that's all we get really of that scene there. Yeah, I don't know. Like this scene kind of, I, I like to imagine like, you know, someone who's been in sleep paralysis probably would have like a, I don't know, like a situation like this or could imagine themselves. I don't know. I, I, if I gotta be honest, I've never uh, had sleep paralysis before. So I, I honestly don't know how it feels or whatever. But yeah, like Zoro is, literally can't move while he's looking upon the Grim Reaper. Uh, okay, I, I do have a lot of things to talk about this. So... I'll get into my actual discussion about this uh, later on in the chapter review, but uh, yeah, after that we go back and we go with uh, Frankie, who's just like moving through his way. He's like, "God damn it, Zoro, where the hell did you go?" So uh, yeah, I'll definitely talk about the Zoro stuff just in uh, a minute. So yeah, then we go to uh, let's see the first floor. Back to Izo after freaking defeating all the, I guess, random beast pirates. And we got him just, like, basically freaking injured. And he's like, oh, God. Uh, I was very sloppy at uh, fighting against that large group. I gotta remember. We're, we're still at war with the freaking beast pirates. Uh, Okiku, Kanemon, I hope you managed to escape. And then he pulls out his gun and he looks behind him. And we see freaking I just Zero just uh, walking towards him. He's like, you're, you're Cyberpole. And uh, one of the CP0 members, he's like, uh, yes, that's right. I wear I just Zero. But I, kn I knew that you were here. But we never saw each other today. Izo, you know, given my job, I shouldn't be allowing the remnants of the Whitebeard crew, you know, to run free after their historical front crimes, but uh, we're here dealing with the Straw Hat Pirates, so we'll meet again another day. But then, oh, just, uh, uh, 
Yeah, we'll meet again another day. And Iso's like, not yet. CP0, don't go. And that that's the end of that scene there. So, uh, oh my god, Iso's going to fight against say, Cyber Pull Zero. He's, um, oh, wait, why do I feel like there's death flags here? Uh, some possible death lags with that, so, yeah, I don't know, I, I maybe, you know what, I'll, I'll wait till later, talk about that yet again, and then we go to the uh, armory in the basement with Yamato, who just finally reached down to the basement, it's like, I hope I uh, reached in time, and we literally see just this, uh, the fiery, I forgot, what the, you know, creature that Kondro uh, made was called. But yeah, the fiery blob creature is literally almost seconds to touching down to the uh, armory floor with these uh, big... It's like literally almost cartoonishly big, like, bombs. <gasps> that, that's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, these... Yeah, the fire boss almost about to hit these cartoonishly big bombs that, you know, I can honestly see something on like Clinton's or whatever. And so what Yamato does to combat this, uh, Yamato does, uh, hope I'm saying this right, Naju Glacier Flame and like freezes the bombs. And uh, Yamato's like, God, I gotta make sure if these bombs don't explode or we're all done for. And, you know, we got freaking the fire block trying to, I, I, I guess, light up these bombs. And Yamato's trying to combat the creature any way as it could possible. And, like, one of the last things we see from the creature saying is, uh, Lord Orochi. And, um, yeah, that, that's, that's really it from this scene, which, um, actually, does, does Yamato know this is, this came from, uh, freaking, uh, a Contro? You know, actually, Yamato might not know, but, you know, it is definitely, maybe Yamato, you know, is like, Lord Orochi, what, what could this mean? Could this have been done from, like, Contra, but maybe nah, he's dead. So you know, I'm very curious how actually you know this whole fight's going to go, because like he, he, you know, even Yamato, I mean Yamato's kind of attacking it and it's kind of hitting, but um, you know, I'm just kind of curious how it goes. And also, kind of a, I mean, I mean it's a very important thing. We literally earlier in the chapter. Literally, the place was collapsing because of all the fire, so, you know, I'm pretty sure the fire is going to be very, very important. It still is. But, uh, yeah, continuing on, we go back to the performance floor with the fight between Kid and Law versus Babe Mom. And freaking Kid and Law are just getting their ass to walk. And, like, even uh, some of the kid pirates are being like, Stop the big ball, our, our captain's can't take it anymore. If you keep going, they're going to die. And freaking big ball's like, Oh, oh, look at your men, you young captains. Uh, does that make you feel pretty pathetic? Mom, mom, mom. And freaking, you know, both the uh, kid pirates and the hard pirates to try to go and you know rescue them but big mom's like a freaking silence you stupid runt and uh hera does uh god lying tension and you know all uh pushes them back and big mom starts to i, I guess kind of you know look up and be like i've yet to hear the roar of victory from a uh, kaido above you better not still be up there playing patty cake with that straw hat, boy. Hera, take me up to the roof. And Hera starts to float Big Mom up. I'm getting tired of this. It's time to put an end to this. And Law, Law does a Karoom. Still, I think it's a weird name for his awakening. Yeah, he does Karoom. He attaches anesthesia to the blade. And then he freaking... Stabs Big Mom, but like, 
Okay, okay. Like, it, the weird thing is, like, the blade actually, like, scratches, like, like within length. I, I, I don't remember that happening the last time, but, yeah, that's, that's interesting. I didn't know, whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, I didn't know that freaking, you know, uh, Law could do that with his ability, but okay. Yeah, he freaking stabs Big Mom, and even Law says it's like, well, just like the last one, this one had no effect with the penetration, but uh, that's not where the real pain comes from. And Big Mom's like, oh, no, not that. And he, Law does shock with it. And, you know, does a massive shock damage to Big Mom. And then freaking uh, the, uh, I guess, Steel Beam homies uh, that Big Mom created go try and attack Law. But uh, then, you know, freaking Kid with his magnetism ability just, you know, grabs them all and all their... All the other damn uh, mill that's around them, and he's like, "Man, with these damn beams, just shut their yapping. You know, oh, obey my magnetism." The big mom's like, "Wait a minute, you're you're still okay, kid?" And he's like, "Well, I have for some reason I feel driven by a different goal. I'm guessing you want to go up with Kaido. He's nearly done up there. Even water droplets can." Car through stone, giving them enough time. There aren't a single thing in the world that's totally impervious to damage. And then, like, Kid creates, uh, like, a, I don't know how to describe this, like a giant mechanical bull and, like, rushes in to Big Mom with, uh, Punk Cordinia Dio. Dio? Yeah, he, he rushes. And to Big Mom, and he's like, listen to me, old hag. I'd rather die than let you go up to the roof. Chapter ends. And, um, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty cool way to end the chapter. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Let me check real quick. Are we on break? I, I don't think we are. Uh, doesn't look like we're on break, so... Uh, yeah, you know, chapter should be, next chapter should be coming out, you know, fairly, fairly, fairly soon. So, uh, yeah, I guess, um, you know what, you know what, yeah, I, I guess I should start with the first thing that, uh, you know, a lot, I guess a lot of people are talking about is the whole Grim Reaper scene with, uh, Zoro and, you know, debating, like, uh, is that actually the Grim Reaper? Is Zoro just hallucinating with it uh i've heard people say it's it's li it's literally just brooke and like zoro is just like hallucinating which uh i don't know i, I can't if that's true i i find that a little bit funny but uh yeah i think it's most likely it's just a hallucination or i mean well through brooke we we do know the underworld like actually exists so it, it wouldn't be out of the way to say that like death and like the grim reaper exist and like you know even if it is the actual grim reaper you know is or really going to die nah but uh yeah well if it is the actual grim reaper because we know freaking frankie is like right now heading towards zoro so with uh you know, freaking Frankie's walking up. He's like, hey, so what the hell is that? Is that some kind of Grim Reaper there? You know, just just thought it would be, I don't know, it's just kind of, uh, you know, interesting. I'm curious what direction it actually goes towards, or even if, you know, or even if it's death. Because after all the times that, you know, Zoro has been and this is the probably closest he's been in death because remember he didn't go he didn't die or even you didn't see the grim reaper even when nothing happened you know just when nothing happened but yeah freaking now out of all the times this has been the closest time he's been to death also you know what uh, i guess i'll mention this i i i've just heard people saying that uh this is uh the, that this is i guess enma 
Okay, okay. This is weird because people were saying, this is Edma. And you know, Zoro's talking to his Zombato. And he'll be soon becoming Bonkai. I, I know people are, you know, joking around with it. But like, some people, I wonder like, if some people actually think like, you know, he'll be, it's like the spirit of Enma itself, which I don't know. I don't think really One Piece would like do that kind of stuff. I just, I, I know it's just a fun joke, but do really people think like, oh yeah, Enma is going to come out and, you know, this is the literal spirit of Enma or something. I just, I just don't see that. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm definitely excited to see, you know, what uh, what is actually truth about this. Um, but uh, oh yeah, I never say why, why I think it's most like, I think it's probably Zoro just hallucinating and it's probably not even I would say it's not even actually you know there or something like that so there's that uh what else I could talk about I, I talked about the Raizo Fukurokuju stuff enough uh I don't know I, I feel I, I think I say what I say about Yamato with uh you know the fact that Yamato you know is going to fight this Firely blob creature. I don't know how Yamato's exactly going to defeat it. Because it is a weird fight. Because, like, we see Yamato clearly hitting it. And it kind of hits. Kind of. I'm not really sure. Also, I should mention that uh, Yamato is engulfed by the flame. Uh, I, I just noticed this my, myself just right now. But, uh, yeah. What, what else I can talk about? Uh, I guess I could talk about the whole thing. With, uh, you know, Big Mom versus uh, Kid-in-Law. And, you know, I, 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 I guess it was a cool, uh, you know, showing. Oh, well, I mean, we got the whole thing with Big Mom being like, Oh, yeah, let me just join up with, uh, you know, Kaido and get this thing done. But, uh, you know, even still, and now after being beaten so bad by Big Mom, Kid-in-Law, or like, no, we're, we're not done yet. We're, we're not done! And even still with laws... Does, does Kuroon really make his sword stretch that, that long? Like, uh, what was he? Uh, Gain? Is he Gain from Bleach? Oh, hey, another Bleach reference. But yeah, uh, you know, there's that and, you know, the whole thing with Kid. And I mean, uh, I mean, not to say... You know, him making that mechanical bull isn't impressive. But, uh, you know, he's been making mechanical thing from day one with all his uh, freaking battles. Um, but, uh, yeah, the whole line of them being like, uh, yep, there's nothing impervious into, into the roof. I am really motivated to make sure you don't go on the roof. Which, uh... Oh my god, I, ho I hope this means that uh, both Luffy will defeat Kaido and Log Kid will be the ones to defeat Big Moms. Oh my god, I, I hope that happens. Yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope. Man, you know, even still, like, freaking Big Moms just... Oh yeah, I just know it's like Big Mom when, uh, when Law does the shock willy, Big Mom, like, spits out a lot of blood, which, you know... Crazy to think that, you know, the, these guys are st are doing serious, like, actual legitimate damage. Because even though Big Mom's been generally thrown around all over this arc, this is, like, you know, legit serious damage done to Big Mom. So, you know, that that's, that's crazy to think about. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Like, I don't know. They're, like, here's the thing. With this chapter, there's a lot, a lot of things. That happen. We go with Big Mom, we go with Raizo, Yamato, and everything, and you know, as cool as each of one of these, each of every of these things are, I don't know, I, I, I want to talk. I want to talk more, and you know, uh, freaking Chopper's out of his baby grand form, out of his, you know, new uh, merchandising form. But uh, yeah, I guess that's really it. Oh yeah, I never... You know, I just noticed, I never really talked, before I leave, I never really talked about the whole thing with the Rizo and this being possibly 
a death lab because like look 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 at where we are right now Rizo, he he is bleeding he's damaged from the fodder fights and then now he has a fight cp0 and uh god I, I i can totally see this happening i mean i don't know it could be like the situation with uh freaking drake where he got his ass kicked i'm thinking drake's dead but you know the the same situation could happen with freaking you know, Ezo, but I think Ezo, we, we might get in like an Ezo death here. It's, it's, it's very possible. And I mean, you know, with especially the CP0 members just looking pretty clean. You know, no, no damage to them. Not, nothing really I see from them. So, you know, ugh, God, I don't know. The question is, do I really want like, you know, freaking Ezo to die? Oh, I feel like people want, because, like, for a couple of chapters now, people want Kondro. People want uh, freaking Okiku, them to be, you know, truly dead. And I don't think they're dying. Well, not yet, at least. Uh, probably probably not at this arc at this point. But, you know, freaking Izo might die. Or, wait a minute. We don't know where Denjiro's at. Oh, shit. Maybe I, I could, uh, sure, I might actually see Ninjiro, you know, saving Izo at, like, the last minute or something, but that, that could happen, right? Yeah, that's, that's definitely possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, hmm. Yeah, just, uh, Izo's probably going to die, but this is One Piece, so don't expect very much, and, um, yeah, I guess that, that's really, yeah, to talk about the chapter. Um, I don't know. The one thing I'm really going to have to talk about is the whole scene with uh, Jinbei rescuing the Rebellion Samurai, which, I mean, it's cool, I guess. But that, that, that wasn't really much for me to talk about. But, to, yeah, with, with all the stuff in this chapter, I, I think I did, you know, fairly a decent amount to talk about. And, you know, I, I definitely did like the stuff that, you know, did happen in the chapter, and I'm very interested you know, where it goes next, especially with the freaking Zoro Grim Reaper stuff that people think, I, I don't know, they, they think that freaking Zoro is, is talking like Emma or something, God, you know, man, I, I can't wait until Zoro uh, just goes Bonkai, you know, I can't, I can't wait for that totally awesome scene there, but uh, yeah, 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 I guess that's it, next chapter... I'm going to say we'll find out uh, well, what's with Zora, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think that's a safe bet, right? Because I don't know. I can't give you what exactly is next. I mean, I think we're going to go back to Rufy's for a little while because we still got like uh Oh, shit, yeah, because... Uh, we got Rizo. Uh, we still got Rizo's battle, so I don't know. I feel like we're not going to go back to the roof again, or if we're going back to the roof, it's going to be like just, you know, maybe like last chapter, it's just a whole chapter of them fighting, but it's not going to be like the final, final, final part of the battle until, well, Rizo is defeated. I'm not Rizo, but I mean, Fukurokuju is defeated. So, you know, that, that's a, definitely on my theory. But, yeah, you know, pretty cool chapter. Pretty cool. Definitely interested in what moves next. But uh, I guess I'll see you next time when the Grim Reaper makes its next move. See you guys. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely liked how I, uh, now to this chapter. Oh, God, I don't know what the hell is up with me, especially at the end. Um, yeah, I mean, this chapter was pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like everyone right now, you know, what's their interest? I mean, I, outside One Piece, they're probably interested in talking about Pokemon Arceus Legend about how amazing it is or how you know disappointing 
It is, and I mean, I haven't played it, but from what I've seen, I mean, it looks like a pretty cool Pokemon game. And like, I don't know. I think my thing is just sometimes people like expect, you know, way too much out of Pokemon. And while I agree, if you want to play like a really, really good RPG, there are just enormous amounts of way better ones. But uh, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, when P I, I I mean, I'm not sure about this, you know, if it's true. Oh shit, some like, like cards fell down, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like the thing is that Pokemon, just people can't really accept that Pokemon is just kind of a, an easy, simple, formulaic, uh, you know, RPG. It has always been, and it it never was not that. I, I it, Even in the first game, it's kind of always been that. And, you know, people just kind of expect just way, way too much. And, you know, to be fair, I, I kind of do the same thing. I just, I don't know if people really can handle that. I mean, you know, whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll get Legends Arceus. Maybe I'll Nuzlocke it. I, I am actually curious how nose-locking rules work for that game. Because, like, it's open world, but you still got, like, turn-based combat. It's, it's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's really it. So, uh, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know why I'm feeling today. Content, maybe. Uh, I don't know, um, just need me to just let this go, let it go, wait, why the fuck am I saying that, D just, just bye, bye, see you later, I, I don't care.